Time was a story of missed chances. Argyle's Michael Henney should have done better with a free header. And Tommy Tynan is usually one of the best finishers. But at the other end, Steve Neville won't have many better scoring chances than this. And in stoppage time, Gary Marshall should have at least tested Crudgington. So to extra time, and after just five minutes, Gary Nelson supplied the cross, which broke kindly for Kevin Summerfield to open the scoring. The second half of extra time, City equalised. Alan Walsh's shot too hot for Crudgington to hold. Gary Marshall, where it mattered. Celebration short-lived for the thousand or so travelling Bristol fans amongst the 14,000 attendants. Within a minute, Argyle were back in front. Tynan's cross, Nelson's shot, it slipped in under Watt's dive. Then a great chance for City to equalise from Nisbet's mistake, but Glyn Riley couldn't beat Jeff Crudgington. So to Argyle's third, Tommy Tynan, the scorer, with the help of a slight deflection. Two goals up, and at last there was evidence of Argyle's second division form with some delightful one-touch football. And so to the final whistle, and it's Plymouth Argyle who go to Highbury to meet the mighty Arsenal in the fourth round. I know 